Ali Al Alak, the governor of the central bank, revealed the imminent establishment of national companies and banks specialized in electronic payment and financing small projects, while calling for fixing the price of a barrel of oil in the budget at 40. Al Alak said during his participation in the MIRI 2024 forum held in Erbil, followed by Al Mutala A agency, that in 2003, the central bank's reserves were 900 million, and Kusai Saddam Hussein seized them on the eve of the fall of the regime, and they were loaded onto a truck, so Iraq seemed to have reserves of nothing. He added, at that time, the size of the money supply was about 4 trillion dinars, and today we have more than 100 trillion dinars in circulation issued currency, not all of the money supply, which is wider than that, and the reserve is more than 100 billion dollars. He continued, the inflation rate in 2003 was twice and sometimes three times, now it is 3.8 percent, which is a typical rate that achieves stability and prosperity. He said, in 2023, the inflation rate was 7.5 percent, compared to a rapid growth in the money supply, which was 64 trillion dinars in 2020, then jumped in 2023 to 100 trillion, achieving a growth rate in two years equivalent to the growth rate in 18 years. Al Alak revealed, among the activities of the central bank, the licensing of 16 electronic payment companies, and the imminent licensing of digital banks. He stressed that the central bank is participating in establishing a national company to organize electronic payment operations. Al Alak explained that the bank has a plan to restructure government banks, and a second plan to rebuild and license private banks in cooperation with international companies in this field. He also mentioned that the central bank provided loans of more than 13 trillion dinars for residential and industrial projects, a number that exceeds all loans provided in the entire history of the Iraqi state. Al Alak revealed the imminent establishment of a bank under the name Riyadh to finance small and micro projects. Regarding the domestic public debt, which has reached 70 trillion dinars and may reach 80 trillion, Al Alak said that the reason for the increase in debt is the budget, which shows a large deficit, which is covered by debt, indicating that there are no other tools that the government uses. Debt is the easiest and shortest way and it is obtained from government banks and sometimes from the central bank. The central bank governor called for controlling the debt. He added, the budget deficit is due to the increase in expenditures that are not matched by growth, especially in local revenues. Therefore, expenditures have become binding and inflexible, such as salaries, which are the largest expenditures. He added, Iraq still depends on oil revenues to cover its expenses, and any fluctuation in oil prices affects the coverage of expenses, which have become fixed and cannot be reduced. Al Alak considered that this indicates a structural defect in the structure of the Iraqi economy, which is unable to produce local products capable of generating income and thus returns for the government and individuals. He said, the government is trying to diversify the economy but this will not happen without expanding the agricultural and industrial base, investment, and taking advantage of natural and human resources. Al Alak explained, when oil revenues increase, expenses increase, and when they decrease, we reduce investment expenses, which affects projects. He stressed, we need to control expenses and increase revenues in return. He revealed that the external debt is at its lowest level, a small amount, and the largest is the local debt, revealing that the external debt is less than $20 billion. Regarding the budgets and oil prices file, Al Alak said, We proposed years ago the idea of setting the price of a barrel of oil within the budget at $40. He explained, This means that operating expenses should not exceed the 40 ceiling set for a barrel, so that the government can ensure the flow of expenses on the one hand and provide an opportunity to spend on real investment projects and development. He added, now is the right time to set a strict price ceiling for public expenditures, otherwise whenever the price of oil increases, it goes to operations, 
and whenever it decreases, we take from investment.